Hey guys, it's Mary. Um, this week I wanted to show you how to use Word to create some really quick visuals. You can use it for just about anything. Today what I want to show you is, okay, I do a lot of recording in my office, but sometimes people want to come see me in my office and I've got the door shut. So I just want to make a recording sign for my door. So I want to go into my blank Word document. I want to insert and I am going to insert a text box. Okay, and in this text box, all I want to put is okay, just some text that says recording. I want to make it a whole lot bigger than that, though. Okay, so there I would have something that I could put on my door. I'll probably put some language at the bottom. I want to make sure that yeah, I want to make sure that I have my box in the right place. So I want to put my text below it. I'm just going to say the door is unlocked. Come on in. I'll be with you in a moment. And probably going to make that a bit larger too. Oh, I'm probably not going to put three O's in door. Center. Okay, and I, I could leave it at that, but it's not really very interesting. Um, as I've said, I'm a pretty visual person. So I'm going to kind of move my text box a little bit and start doing some stuff with it. Um, first of all, I'm going to do something besides the white background. Now, when you're working with your text box up here um, in your menu is shape format. Okay, and under shape format, you can have a whole bunch of options, but I'm going to go with just some basics for this morning. I'm going to say that I want the shape to be, let's say, red so that it stands out. Um, I don't much care for that black against the red background, so I'm going to make my text uh, white. Um, and I could leave it at that, but I can also do some other things. Like I could go in here and add a shadow to the words if I wanted to. Right, and then it's got a little bit of a 3D effect to it. Um, what I probably am gonna do though is I want to add a little bit of a glow effect so it actually looks like a sign that would be turned on and says recording. Um, and I can't really see that yellow very much, and this is where I just mess around with things a little. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is doing sort of a white glow around it. Okay, and because it's not really showing up as much as I would like, even with the white glow, I'm going to make a little bit of an adjustment. If I go into the glow options, it lets me play around with it more. And it'll open up this side box for me that gives me a whole bunch more options. So right now, I think one of the things that I'm having a little trouble with is this semi-transparent. I want to make it a little bit less transparent. Not a lot less, but a little bit so that it shows more. And I took it down from 60% to 40%, but you can play around with it. And now it looks more like there's that lights on glow kind of thing. Um, I could also do things with the shape itself, not just with the text. If I go into the shape format, a lot of the same kinds of options are available to you, but right here, this little paintbrush with the landscape behind it is my um, sort of artistic effects. So you could put a shadow on the box itself. You could give the um, soft edges to the box, you can give it a glow. What I want to do though, because I like to give it kind of a 3D effect, is put in a beveled edge to it. So it looks more like a button. 
Okay, and now you can see it's a little bit 3D. Um, and then I could mess with that. I'm gonna maybe make the bevel a little bit bigger. So going to my 3D options again, it's gonna bring me a menu up on the side here that I can play with. And I'm just going to increase the height of this a little bit. Okay, and you can see it changing as I do that. Okay, so you can see that the 3D effect on that changed a little bit. And then I'm gonna mess with one more thing on here. Um, I can change the font on it if I want to. I guess I'm gonna leave it kind of how it is though. But one thing that I think I would like to do is put a little icon in here. So you can mix your shape with images and layer things. So I have, okay. A recording symbol here that I picked up. Okay, and right now it's too big for me to overlay it on my button um, and it's in line with the text so I want to change it. I'm going to click on the image, I'm going to right click on the image, and I'm going to go to wrap text and I say put it in front of the text. So now I can move this around to wherever I want it. It's still too big so I can resize it. I happened to choose an image with a transparent background, but one thing that's nice is that you can actually um, take images in Word and set a transparent background. But now I have my recording button here. I could make my font at the bottom bigger. So it's more consistent. And now I have a sign that I can put up on my door. So that's it. I mean, you could do all kinds of things. And really, you know, I don't want to give you a big instruction sheet or anything like that, because the best thing for you to do to learn how to use this is to just go in and play with it. So there's your Tech Tuesday tip. Go in and have some fun, create anything you want, and then think about how you could use this to sort of liven up either um, you know, your Canvas course or handouts that you're giving to your students, or you can do like I'm doing and have a couple of signs that you often need for your door. And anytime that you want, you can come by the CTLA and get some help if you want somebody to sit down and mess around with you. Um, so there's your Tech Tuesday tip, and you can check back next week for the next one.